Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609, and I'm at Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico. Beautiful place to camp, and I've run into a couple that have a pop-up Rockwood Premier, and I don't know that I've done one of these before, but maybe I have. And I'll spin around here and let you meet these this wonderful couple. And y'all, what state are y'all from? Uh, from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri, and, and you we also this, have a home in Red River, New Mexico. You have a home in Red River, bully, bully. And what you said something earlier about them opening a new brew pub. They have a new brewery, Red River Brewing Company. Get you up mean there and have some beer? It's Prost. <laughs> Prost. <laughs> it's great beer, great food, right yeah. in the heart of Red River. Okay, and you're Mike and Karen, Karen right? Yes. Okay, and y'all just came here from Big Bend, the basin, right? Yes, Jesus right. Basin. So we camped, yep, and hiked a lot up out there. Mm -hmm. You're retired? Yes, yeah. both retired. I'm a retired teacher. A retired teacher. What what grade? Uh, I taught third grade. Third so. grade, honey, you deserve a rest. <laughs> God does. bless you. Isn't that true? You're retired from. Yeah, I'm also, I was a chief financial officer. So I was a CPA for years. You, oh, yeah, I'm you a CPA. old CF, CFO, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she retired, and I was like, you know, our kids yeah. were out of the house, and we downsized our home and loved to travel. bought this, yeah. loved to travel. So I just took early retirement. We've been traveling for Wonderful. Ever You'll since. never regret it, Mom. I love it. And we take our bikes everywhere we go. Yeah. Just regular old pedal bikes? Regular yeah, just, old yeah, pedal bikes. Pedal bikes so. I mean, pedal like. Going downhill is great. Yeah, uphill is a little more of a challenge. <laughs> yeah. We enjoy those too. How, how long have you had your Rockwood? Uh, a couple years. Two years. Two years. How do you like it? We, we love, love it. it. We love it. It's uh, it's easy to pull. You know, it we folds, pull it folds it right down. Band. We pull it with our van, so it doesn't take a truck or any special equipment. And how much does it weigh? Two thousand pounds, and the tongue weight's two hundred fifty pounds. That's so good you, info. You can pull it with a V6 minivan or. If you want a big pickup, you can do that. Because our van gets such good gas mileage. Right. What, what so, kind of gas mileage do you get when you're towing? You think? Uh, usually around 20 miles a gallon. 20? 20. Sheesh. And the van is EPA rated for almost 30. So oh, really? It, it really helps. Let yeah. me get, get a picture of your tow. This yeah. is the tow vehicle It's just here. a Toyota Sienna. It's a Toyota Sienna six-cylinder? Six-cylinder, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And I can just use my suitcase like a um, dresser yeah, so yeah. We just keep all our clothes, so keep our in, clothes there. in there and that keep keeps it out of from here being cluttered. Yeah, yeah use your tow vehicle like your garage right maximize the space sure hell yeah yeah that way you don't have so much clutter on the inside right, right. so there's two of you no dogs no no pets you, you gotta, ref, you gotta we, ref, go ahead we hike a lot and if you have a pet with you like the national parks won't let you have your pet with you correct and you can't leave them in your camper so um it just works out nice that we don't have to worry about a, a pet when we want to go hiking. Do you have a pet at home? No. Nope. No. Our son has a pet. We have two kids in Denver and one in Missoula, Montana. So our son in Denver has a dog. It's our grand dog. And that, that's okay. good, good enough for us. That works for us. What What's the footage on the? How long is that? Uh, 19 feet. 19 yeah, feet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tip to tail is 19 feet. Which, when we were um, camping in Chiso's Basin, if we had anything bigger than 20, you can't camp in the... Can't get up there. In yeah. that campground, they won't yeah. let you. The road it's is not, so narrow. The spots aren't big enough. Right. So if Ch you Chiso's to... Basin is in Big Bend National Park. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's a pretty good drive from here. Yeah, about uh, six and a half hours. So. Yeah, that's a pretty good drive. Yeah, so we so, drove up yesterday. So you have a refrigerator and uh, yes. all yeah, that stuff? Me. Yeah, we yeah have, let's do. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the first, they didn't want to show me the inside because they said it was it cluttered. And I tried to explain it. You know, you're, not, you're not RVing if it's not cluttered. Yeah, so there's a <laughs> refrigerator. Dometic 2.0, right? It's a great fridge. We have a three burner gas stove. Let me just get up here and do yeah. this. I'm just going to quickly show you the oh, inside, ahead. guys. Yeah. I'm going to do a right and a left. So the, they got a dining over here that turns into a bed, yes, obviously. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Got some windows up here. Do those open those out? Those open? Yeah, these just open up. They're just bubble windows okay. to give you a little more head space room All in right. there. Then we got our full-size bed or queen. Almost. Okay, full-size bed. That pulls back. That's a bubble window there. So we okay. open at night and look at the stars while we're yeah, sleeping. Oh, you, oh, that opens the right. Yeah, okay. that okay. opens to a window. Oh. And oh. you can, we do it all the time. We look at the stars all night. Well, it has how? a microwave on the other side. Yeah, so around, uh, yeah. So and you got a vent fan. Is that vent a vent fan there? Fantastic fan. Off the 12, 12 volt. Yeah, it'll run and off 12 it. volt. And then around here is the. Uh, all your stuff. Yeah, that's the uh, microwave on the other underneath this cabinet is a microwave. Okay. And then back under the bed is a heat pump and air conditioning unit. Heat pump. Yeah, so it'll run actually if it's not too cold, like yep. a heat pump on your home. Yeah. And you don't have to use your propane. Now you've got to be hooked up to 20 amp to do it. But, okay. Yeah. But you the have air to... conditioner, you know, we don't have you don't see a 
air conditioner no. you have mounted on the top because it's all in that unit okay. there. So. You have you have Zamp Solar. Uh, yeah, we just haven't bought the panel yet. Okay, because that'll I'll, recharge the marine battery, the 12 volt battery. Yeah, if we is, hooked it up, it'll recharge that. Is that a lead acid battery? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I've got solar on mine. I've got Zamp. It's a suitcase solar. Oh, okay. I've got a Casita, 2019 Casita thing. Okay. I just I, I, this is my sixth RV, but yeah. so you have an outdoor little plug and a cooker. So you made yeah. some coffee this morning or yeah, something. Yeah, made some coffee. Sat there. outside and watched the sunrise. Well, how rough it is in retirement, guys! <laughs> yeah, all you is. people it's that are still tough. working. So the way it works is that you, if you want to close it up, you get in, you fold down this side, you fold down this side. The hinge is right here. And so then you just pull. Here, and and you grab uh, each of these two handles, and it folds down it kind of folds down over itself so to, this side overlaps this side and there's a seal there so it just fold it folds down like this okay. so it goes like that and so it's, it's flat so you don't think it, it, it's kind of a two-person job yeah right? yeah it's because you get one person here and there I mean you could yeah. do it it's just you know it can be done he's with put one. it down by himself yeah. and yeah. up but it's because it's, it's got it's on it's on this on the other side there's spring hinges yeah on the outside so it helps you but it's it's easier if you got two people well it's, it looks I like the design and the fact that it folds flat yeah it certainly does make it easy to tow right and the weight is light yeah it's, uh, super yeah. Light. it's they were really smart about how they built it lightweight yep so you could pull it with a you know you don't need a big pickup the nice thing too is it fits in a standard garage ah. perfectly. We have a standard garage size at home. We back it in, we store it in our garage. Right. On one, we have a two car garage. It sits on one side, won't have storage fees. It fits within three inches of the door coming down. So I think they were really smart about designing it to say, hey, you know, let's make this so if you've got a garage at home, you can pull it right in and keep it all winter. So how how wide is it? Uh, how wide? Oh, let's see, it's a good. This, Same as our van. It's well, not any wider so eight than our feet van. At least it's probably a good eight feet, nine feet wide. It looks like okay. something like that. All right. But yeah, it, it'll fit in. You know, it doesn't take up so much space that you can't get your other. So car you got in the there. bike rack on the front. Yeah, the, we love the rack. So I like we, uh, the I like the fact that you've got it looking neat with those covers. Yeah. So we ma I mounted uh, I mounted uh, racks, and I that you can put a lock on there too. So I yep. just bolted these little fork racks, one on each side, right. and then bolt them down, covered it up just to keep bugs and stuff off. And so our bikes are under there. Oh, and neat. then we carry around, it doesn't have an awning, just that they make one, but it doesn't work real well. You don't need an awning. No, so we carry one of these, you know, pop-up awnings. That's, That's this all is you the, need. We use it when we need it, but yeah. and they, it's they got have one, two tanks. Pop-up shade things. Yeah, yeah. pop-up shade, whenever we need it. Yeah. We don't often use it. Well, but. because, you know, out here, you know, right now, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. But, but we yeah. usually put it over a picnic table or sure. it depends. Yeah. But it's got two propane tanks. 20 pound? Uh, yep, and okay. then... Um, Lead like acid. Lead acid. You know if uh, that's marine battery. 75 amp or do you know? Uh, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, it's yeah, probably it comes sure. standard with 75s. You yeah, know. not sure. Well, let me get around here. I'll look the other side yeah. just right quick. That's my water bottle, guys. Yeah, there you go. That's water too. Yours. That's yeah, water. So you see the bubble windows there? And those yeah. pull up. Bubble windows in the front. Yeah. Vent fan up there. Yep. Big window here to look out. Yep. 30 amp or is that 20 amp? Um, 20 amp. 20 amp hookup. Yep. And this is how you, you turn on your uh, refrigerator. Yeah. It'll run off of 20 amp. It'll run off of propane. And it'll run off of 12 volt. Three way. Okay. Yep. And then um, hot water heater under here. Okay. So you can do a it's shower. Hot water heater, electric and gas, or um, just electric? It's or, gas. Gas, propane yeah. only. Okay. Yep. Oh, it has an outdoor shower. Thing. Outdoor shower unit. And then, you know, this is uh, city water, you know, pressurized water. Or then we got a water tank. Yep. I think it's uh, 16 gallons. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Probably. That seems standard. Yeah, yeah, and this is the, this is where the uh, yeah, air conditioner vents. So you know, any condensation comes out here. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, is, it, is it like a window air conditioner thing in there? Um, you know, I. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it sort of acts like a window air conditioner. Does it work? Does it cool it? Pretty yeah. Good? Oh my gosh. It yeah. Gets very cold, okay. Really cool. That's all and, that matters. And it's the heat pump works too. That way, if it's yeah, you know, not below forty, you're not using your propane. Yeah. So if you're on twenty amp, you can. Heat, your, heat it with just your heat pump. In well, there. see, that, that I've got the same thing in my casita. It's got mm -hmm. a 1500 watt heat pump. Yeah. And yeah, it works the same way. Yeah. yeah. And then it's got storage on both sides. Great. This is like a pull out. You know, oh, you is that, but did you do that or that came no, with it? Came no, it like came with it. Like okay, this. that's great. And the other side is a bigger storage unit. And that's where we put our. Um, For, yeah. Just more gear. Okay. How about it, that, guys? On the opposite side, the exact same, only it's a little it's and, wider. And this is your gray tank. 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right now. That's, <laughs> that's it. Right. Sponsored yeah. by Ace Hardware, right? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Let's get that in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, but it, no, no is toilet, the place. but we have a porta potty. So yeah. it's just for overnight. You well, know, you, know, come you don't on need. I didn't, wouldn't want you know dealing with the toilet and a shower. I mean, and yeah, then you got to get a bigger unit. But a porta potty's fine. If you're gonna go camping, go camping. Go I mean, camping, what, I, mean right. I don't. I don't use my black. I, I poop in a bag and throw it in the trash. <laughs> there you go. That crap. <laughs> you get it at the end of that crap. You hear what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. And I pee in a jug. Yeah. And you know, because I, I don't like going to dump stations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and you don't, I mean, again, you don't need to, you know, but yeah. if, if you want to do what you do at home and your sticks and bricks home, yeah. then you'll have all that stuff. You yeah. Know? I do like having the little porta potty thing though for nighttime. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't want to have for. to go all no, the way down no, there. That's, so. right, that's where you find the little snake boys. Right. Yes. <laughs> the so. little, little things with yeah. fangs. So yeah. we do a lot of forest service campground, no yeah. power, no water. You know, we just carry water in a, that's it. So this thing works great anywhere, and it's small enough to take it anywhere. But well, yeah, this is awful thoughtful, y'all, to do this video. Yeah, I mean, sure I appreciate it's... that because it looks right. like, according to what you're telling me, and it's Karen and Mark, right? Mike. Mike, Mike Mark. Mike, Mike and Karen, guys. You hear that? Rusty remembered that for about 30 seconds. Somehow, <laughs> but <laughs> it gets worse, guys. It gets worse. <laughs> But yeah, they're camping in this Rockwood Premier, uh, what is it, uh, what do they call it, the, what's the model number? Uh, it's a uh, hard side pop-up. Hard pop -up. side pop-up. Right. And uh, you got this in uh, Missouri, I guess? Yeah, we got it from, uh, actually bought it from off a guy from, we bought it from Craigslist. It had been in Denver oh, at a dealer. What year model is it? It's 2016. 2016. So what happened was it was in Denver, big hailstorm comes ah. through, breaks out the back wind bubble uh -huh. and the two uh, two small ones right. breaks them out so he bought it off of auction he uh -huh. put in two he put in the new windows and we just bought it from him we got well, it for about half off so. well no that's that's fine so yeah. and so it it's never brand used new brand new everything except for that so well, you know it sounds like you got a good deal and i'm yeah. glad you're enjoying your rv but anyway thank you very much Alrighty. Mike and Karen. See there, I remember it. I did and pretty rusty. good. And we're glad to show your fans, and we're now going to be a fan. We're yeah, gonna, that's right. We'll be it, looking out for you. That's we're glad right. We met you. Rusty seven eight six zero. Now you're going to laugh. I mean, I mean, I do so. I do a lot of different types of videos other than RVs, mm -hmm. and so you sometimes you know, like beer thirty. You're going to go. This guy's a nut. Yeah, man. we should have never like beer thirty. We should have never talked. We have to him. a cocktail hour usually. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. In our, <laughs> yeah, in the Rockwoods. So. Well, anyway, thank you, and I'll turn yeah. around here and end the video. And let the viewers have a view of the, what we're seeing. But thanks again, y'all guys. You. Appreciate cool. it. Anyway, guys, this is Rusty78609 saying thanks for watching this great video and thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye bye. Anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it does not cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. And it will help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. What else? Stretch. Walk. Exercise your body once or twice a day. You'll never regret it. Get off the couch and walk outside. It won't hurt you. What else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Turn the TV off if you can. And what else? Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. You know, feed those little uh, neurons and stuff in your brain good stuff, and they'll form good thoughts. Other than that, adios, guys. Carry on. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.